you got the Mayhem Away winter uniform on. Yeah. Black with flannel. So I think we're good. Solid. Eight. Two, eight, three, probably. It's like Kenya. So it's a little more, uh, I hate when they're like, it's got tasting notes of whatever, it's, but it's, it's like a little bit lighter and a little um, fruitier than a, like a South American bean, so. Kenya, it's pretty good. How's the, what's the cinnamon roll rating, one out of 10? Uh, 10 being really good, one being really bad, what is it? What? One? <laughs> oh no. There you have it, folks, out of the mouth of the babes. How did Lakeland make the cut this weekend over Trice and or Violet? Lakeland has school usually and doesn't get to go on many trips because she's a big kid now. Therefore, Trice and Violet got to go on the last, on the race. Oh, true. And so, it's Lakeland's turn for a little trip. Actually, I've been on more trips than them. Yeah, you true. That's true. When I was a baby. You're my original travel buddy. When I was a baby. When you were a baby. CrossFit Gahana, one of our Mayhem affiliates. Thought we'd go drop in and do a little, little workout, test Darren's programming, which I looked last night on affiliate. And either he's a genius in the fact that he programmed double unders and uh, wall walks, or he's an idiot. <laughs> they have no and idea. Dummy, no, and Dummy forgot his bag. Are you Dummy? I'm Dummy. That should be my, you know how you put the name things? Yeah. This is Dummy. I've got room. Krista. Rich, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. We did the open workout yesterday, last night. Awesome. Well, we have a handful wow. of the same movements today, so a little bit more on the shoulders. Um, first, I would like to welcome Drop In. Lakeland. Lakeland, yes. Beautiful Lakeland. Uh, Rich Froning, everybody. Just dropping in. Whoa, whoa. Have I ever traveled without like my gym bag? Like I've forgotten other things, but never. And I'm this last night. I got out and I was like, Oh no! You more, you moron! Yep. Let's go back with the first one. It's a little long. Look. This is the worst thing you could have not. Had. <laughs> worst thing. All right, guys. Here we go. Ten seconds. Brian Walsh. I'm the owner of CrossFit Gehanna. So. We started with Mayhem. Number one, it was, you know, to be perfectly honest, we were doing cap programming. Uh, we did, we've done everything. Yeah. Uh, done it ourselves, done different programmings, whatnot. Uh, overwhelmingly, all of my coaches wanted to do Mayhem Affiliate. I was actually the only one against it, yeah. uh, just because I liked cap at the time. I was like, let's just stick to it, it's fine. Uh, it's good. All of my coaches were like, yeah, we totally should. And they were right. It, um, it added a lot of versatility. Programming, they really over-deliver on not only your class option, what you can get done in 60 minutes, but other tracks such as your endurance. The strength is a big one. A lot of people want to come in, they want to work on uh, their strength, uh, so that helps. The huge thing for me is, you know, I don't have a lot of extra work. Everybody's excited about the workouts and sometimes not, but when we, we get a lot of new members that come in and they're obviously very intimidated by the gym. Just, you know, we have a lot of people that go to the regular, you know, like Globo gyms and they come here and they're like, I can't do that. You know, we have three different program tracks. That's what we kind of tell people. We're like, there's nothing to be intimidated about. And pretty much like a thousand percent of the time, they come in after that first workout and they're like, oh, I can do this. Having the different tracks is super huge and, 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 and having that opportunity to have new members come in and think one way going, walking in and then think another way walking out is pretty awesome. Have high five now? Yeah, I'll take, I'll take that. I'll take that. I get it. I get it. It's Saturday, you know? Yeah. Long, long week. Oh, he wants to give you a high five. Aww. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Someone's like, hey, I'm a man to fill it like this, Jim. Yep. What does that mean? So, Darren will program. Uh, it'll be tested at CrossFit Mayhem. Usually, I think three weeks in advance, and then uh, Josh will make kind of the necessary critiques and give Darren some ideas on like, hey, this is what we did to scale. Some options you'll get, you know, if you don't have certain equipment that we've programmed, 
there'll be changes in there. There's different tiers, so different scaling options. There's a warm up, the workout, the cool down. There's usually some strength in some pieces. Um, you'll get videos from Darren, usually barefoot in his garage, um, kind of explaining what, what to expect, different coaching things. Um, and then also Christy's on there uh, from a business side on membership, retention, you know, different things, different challenges to do for the gym, um, just kind of community side of things. So uh, a little bit of everything. So it's pretty cool. Uh, it's cool to just drop in and, and see how it all works and, and how it helps people out. So uh, become a Mayhem affiliate today. Is spaghetti here? I hope so. Just, it is lunchtime. You just 20 got, more minutes. You just got <laughs> Breakfast of Champions. We're improvising. I guess it's settled. 10 rounds. 100 foot on the Jacobs ladder. We don't even know if that's a correct unit of measurement for a workout, but when in Rome, as they say. And so we've kind of rigged up. Here's truly here. I don't know if we've earlier stated that I forgot my bag. Yes. I think the first time in like 13 years I have no workout equipment. So there's no real way to judge the speed on this Jacob's ladder without a belt or something to kind of regulate the speed. So we've rigged up uh, about a, we think 100 feet per minute pace on the Jacob's ladder. So figured, hey, let's have some fun. We're gonna do something we'd have never done before. Do a 100 foot Jacob's ladder, 10 dumbbell bench um, for 10 rounds. So. We'll see you on the other side. How? <sighs> I won one or two, and then we've been draw every time. Cat game. Cat game. All right, Cat let's go. Game. No one won, but he always went around him to the, cause he's the master. Like, everybody's just like, hey, do you have this? We're just like, <laughs> three, two, one, smile. No, I'll, I'll fill out my resume and give it to you. Donatello back there with a the barbell, I see that? Oh yeah. Scott. The Green Ranger. <laughs> I had all those up top. And mom gave them away. I had one of these that had like Han Solo when he was stuck in the, was it Carbonite or something? Oh, Batman. You used to have a bunch of Batman too. I had a bunch of action figures actually. I had the- It's funny because we just told the story about my dad and not him shortchanging me on a Green Ranger when I wrote my numbers to a thousand on the way to Michigan one time. Does yours have a ponytail? Is yours a girl? Does yours have blue eyes? Yes. yes. Is it Farah? Yes. Stay tuned for tomorrow at Bucky's. That's Saturday. Now we're going to dinner at Bill and Katie's. <laughs> Yeah, we are. And Bucky's lunchbox. Gah! <laughs> yeah.